28. Oh, you know what we have to do? We have to do um, surveys, instructor evaluations in a bit. So we'll do that. <laughs> oh yeah, 28. All right, it says, uh, researchers want to know if drinking caffeinated, caffeinated drinks improves reaction time, okay? So improves mean you got faster or slower. <coughs> You got, you got faster. Reaction time, you got faster, okay? Uh, they randomly select volunteers in a blinded experiment, give some of them caffeinated drinks and others non-caffeinated drinks, then they record reaction time. Group one, 30 people had a drink containing 300 milligrams of caffeine. The average reaction time was 580 milliseconds with a standard deviation of 110 milliseconds. Group 25 had a drink containing zero milligrams of caffeine. Average reaction time was 640 milliseconds with a standard deviation of 130. Is this evidence that drinking caffeine improves reaction time? Okay. And it says, perform a one-sided hypothesis test. What should the hypotheses be? Okay. We dealing with means or proportions? Means. Means, okay. It talks about average reaction time and standard deviations and things like that. Okay. Do we have one sample or two samples? We've got two samples, okay? So we have two samples, and we're dealing with means, and it says we're making a hypothesis test, okay? So group one, minus, uh, so our null hypothesis is going to be mu1 minus mu2 equal to zero, okay? Whenever you're doing two sample means hypothesis test, that's always going to be your null hypothesis, okay? But what's the alternative? We want to know if drinking caffeine improves reaction time, okay? So which group had the caffeine, group one or group two? Group one, group one had the caffeine, and improves reaction time, does that mean the reaction time got bigger or smaller? Bigger. The reaction time got smaller, right? If you're faster reflexes, your reaction time is smaller, right? Oh. If you're a faster runner, you're finished, you run the mile in less time, okay? So if I do mu1 minus mu2, should this be bigger or smaller than zero? Less than zero, okay? Because mu1 is supposed to be faster than mu2, meaning the time is smaller than group two, okay? What's the observed difference in means, okay? What was the average reaction time for group one, and what's the average group reaction time for group two? Okay. Yeah, 580 milliseconds for group one minus 640 milliseconds for group two. So we have a difference of negative 60 milliseconds. That's our observed difference. is asking what is our t uh, test statistic okay so on top we're going to put our observed difference uh, which is negative 60 milliseconds minus uh, the null which says zero and we're going to divide by our standard error this is what our test statistic is going to be and our standard error okay and again everything is on your study guide if you just follow the uh, the steps in this case, our standard error is going to be S1 squared over N1 plus S2 squared over N2. All right. So S1, what is S1 squared? 110 squared over N1, which was 30 people, plus S2 squared, 130 squared over 25 people. Again, you punch this into the calculator and you do all of this stuff. You take the square root and I get 32.85. Did I get that right? Yeah. 32.85. 
32.85. So my test statistic would be negative 60 divided by 32.85. And I get 1.826, negative 1.826. So that's my answer. <coughs> so for 31, I have to go to the t-table and figure out what p-value is, okay? So how many degrees of freedom do I have in this scenario? 24. 24, exactly. So I do n minus 1 using the n of the smaller group. The smaller group had 25, so I do 25 minus 1. I have 24 degrees of freedom. I go to the table and I look up 24 degrees of freedom. And I'm looking for where 1.826 is. Okay? 1.826 is in between the second and third columns. Okay, and the second column, it goes to 0.05, and the third column goes to 0 0.025. So, uh, so this tells me that my p-value, whatever it is, okay, it's less than 0.05, but bigger than 0.025. Okay? I don't know exactly what it is, but I do know it's between 0 0.025 and 0.05. Okay, that's the value for uh, 31. Is that okay? Alright, if my alpha sig uh, significance test, if alpha is 0 0.05, what's my conclusion? Do I reject or not reject? reject. I reject. My p-value, I don't know exactly what it is, but I do know it's less than 0 0.05, so I'm going to reject the null hypothesis. And, uh, and that says uh, we have evidence that caffeine improves reaction time. Okay. And then lastly, number 33, if this conclusion was wrong, the conclusion to reject the null hypothesis was wrong. Is that a type 1 or type 2 error? It's a type 1. Rejecting the null by mistake is a type 1 error. Is this like basically the same question that we get for chapter 12? Uh, that's basically it, huh? So if we get like... Um, like, one of these answers wrong, we can, like, get a lot of them wrong at a time. Uh, so, I mean, maybe two, a couple questions will be uh, linked together, okay? I, I won't have uh, all the questions linked together. Some of them will say, regardless of your previous answer, pretend that you got this number, okay? Mm. Uh, and then, then what? Okay, yeah. Sure. Like MU1 equal to MU2? Uh-huh. Um, what would your alternative look like? Mu1 is greater than... Yeah, it'd be, so mu1 equals mu2, and it would be, mu, like, it would just be add mu2 to both sides, right? So then it would be mu1 is less than uh, mu2. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ye
I don't know. Like, if you were going to wait in line, do you want to be there for a, a longer period of time or a shorter period no, of time? So, so it's, but it's the conclusion is still the same because. I actually, it would. It would uh, the conclusion would be different because um, you flip, flip things around. But um, uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I'll try to write the questions so they're not. Uh, so it's clear when it says, lar it'll say larger, or smaller, or greater, or something. Yeah. Maybe improves is, uh, is is a little bit confusing, but the idea there, and and I don't, I don't think it's too bad, is that better time means lower time. You yeah. Take less time. Like a little tricky. Yeah. I guess that's a little bit tricky, but yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just have to think think about the question for a second. Okay. So let's. Uh, we'll